The Young Turks brought to you by Carbonite Online Backup. Get a free trial at Carbonite.com by using the promo code TYT and you also get two months free if you decide to buy. In Kansas, they are debating uh, illegal immigration and uh, they're considering a law uh, that would be very similar to Arizona's. Good news, bad news. I'll get the good news in a second. First, the bad news. Uh, Representative Virgil Peck uh, said that uh, he's got a unique way of controlling illegal immigration. We've got a, his statement on that, actually. Let's go to clip number five. Representative Peck on the amendment. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I was also on the committee report, but I had a question on the amendment, some of this information that was handed out. It looks like to me if shooting these immigrating feral hogs works, maybe we have found a problem to our illegal immigration problem. All right. So in case you missed it, he's saying we should shoot the immigrants from helicopters like they're feral hogs. Because they'd been discussing that earlier, saying, hey, feral hogs uh, are a problem in the state. And one way to solve it is to get people up on helicopters and shoot them. And he's saying they could do the same thing about illegal immigration. Uh, later, he claimed he was joking. <laughs> Shooting illegal. I mean, look, I just watched uh, Machete or Machete. Uh, and it's like he's out of the movie. He's like the Robert De Niro's character. Like he's like a cartoon character. It's a... It's a, supposed to be a schlock movie, Machete, right? With cartoon-like characters. and But they're in real life. I mean, that's exactly what De Niro would have suggested in that movie. Yeah, we got to shoot them from helicopters. Yeah. And uh, the head of the Republicans uh, in uh, appropriations chairman, I should say, Mark Rhodes, said that Peck's comments were inappropriate. Uh, when Peck was challenged on it, he was largely unapologetic, saying, quote, I was just speaking like a southeast Kansas person. Are all people in Southeast Kansas in favor of random murder of uh, immigrants from helicopters? I mean, it's, <laughs> I don't think so. Um, so now remember Connie O'Brien, another Republican from Kansas, um, had earlier said that a college student that she saw online was an illegal immigrant, according to her, because she had olive complexion. Just based on her complexion, she decided that she was illegal. Now, could she have had an olive complexion and been a legal immigrant? No, apparently that was not possible. She later wound up apologizing for that. Now, these are all incredibly outrageous. So what's the good news part of this? Well, interestingly enough, uh, the bill that was similar to Arizona's, for the moment being, has been tabled on a 12 to 8 vote, even though the Republicans control. A number of Republicans switched, including uh, Pat Colton, and he said that the bill should require probable cause. Uh, this bill would have just um, allowed uh, checks based on a reasonable suspicion that somebody was an illegal immigrant, which is not a high enough standard that basically allows you to do uh, a racial profiling. And that's what, uh, in, in fact, she said, this is an invitation to racial profiling. And that she was not in favor of enough Republicans voted the other way to say that if we're going to do this kind of bill, you should at least have probable cause before checking to see if someone is an illegal immigrant. Hey, that's interesting. And you know, it's Kansas and, uh, it's a little surprising that they didn't go as draconian as some of the other states, but that's good news overall, and it's good news that uh, Virgil Peck was on the losing side of that. So, hey, look, I'm looking for hope and good news in all, in all different places, and so uh, my guess is they'll come back and pass that bill, which I, ultimately I wouldn't be in favor of anyway, but, uh, but at least a little moderation within the Republican Party at a state level where you might not have expected it. Remember, Kansas uh, also had a Democratic governor uh, who is now within the Obama administration. So I don't think Kansas is as reactionary as some might imagine, given its history and its, uh, you know, the stereotype of Kansas. Um, certainly a lot of other states in the, in the country are a lot more reactionary lately. Eventually, you're going to have a computer disaster, your computer is going to crash, and you're going to lose all your files. But with Carbonite Online Backup, you don't have to worry about any of that because it automatically saves your files off-site. You can access all of your backed up files from any computer remotely, or if you want, you can also access your files through an iPhone or Blackberry with Carbonite's awesome free app. Carbonite costs just $55 a year for unlimited backup for your PC or Mac. Think about it, that's less than $5 a month. Get a free trial at Carbonite.com by using the promo code TYT and you also get two months free if you decide to buy.